Okay, everybody, February 24th, 2023, and we are just beginning to get some really heavy snow out of this blizzard. So check it out. Uh, a little bit later, we're gonna be doing a video where if we get 1,500 likes by next Wednesday, not this video, but one when we're in the midst of the heaviest part, because it's getting heavy now, guys. When we're in the heaviest part, if we get 1,500 likes by the end of Wednesday, I'm gonna do 150 Visa or MasterCard gift card giveaway on this channel. All right, and guys, one of my best friends up here, his name is Bob, he is cruising with me. I picked him up to go pick up his insulin for him. And a good thing about that is that we get to drive through the whole town to get to his place and it'll be the perfect time to make a video. I want you guys to meet Bob. Hey, that is Bob. He is a great, great dude, great, great friend. Um, he's been like a father figure to me up here. Super, super cool cat. So he's gonna, uh, we're, we're taking him to go get his insulin and then we are going to, uh, yeah, keep on recording. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is the beginning of the end for Big Bear. We are getting hammered. So we're going to take Stanfield cut off, you guys. I hope we're in the left turn lane properly. I think we're perfect. Because I want to be able to get the... Uh, um, the freaking sensor. All right, you know, we're gonna turn this like this. That's a little too much. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, guys, Bob's got a nice Subaru Outback also, but unfortunately, he's buried. And so they're staying at a hotel, he and his wife, and they are buried. And he didn't have enough insulin. And of course, as busy as I am, I'm not gonna let my friend go without his life-saving medication. There's no way. So the cool thing is, is that we're gonna get to drive through this massive, massive storm. Of course, we're gonna do it anyway, but we get to do it a little earlier and add an extra video. So I'm super excited about that. Are you, are you cold or warm? Perfect, okay. If this doesn't turn green for us, then we're, I'm going to be so upset. It's turned it. I hope this one turns green, though. That's what I'm worried about. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's a nice view of our lake. You can't really see anything, but that's the lake. Right there. That's the lake. You can't see it at all. This storm has come in with anger and fury first blizzard warning in big bear history and i get to be a part of it and share it with all of you guys i am so excited i told you guys i would keep you super updated as i usually do all right so now we're coming up to north shore from stanfield cutoff and we're going to go around all we're going to take this all the way to like Greenway or maybe even Paradise. Look at the roads over here already. Oh, it's so great. It is so great. I love this. Isn't this beautiful, Bob? Yeah, man, it is. It's been a long time since I've seen it like this up here. Yeah, me too. Well, obviously me too. Probably <laughs> uh, 11 years, I think, since I first moved up here. I can't believe you've, you've been here that much longer than I have, three more years. Well, I was down the mountain for four of those years too. Okay. Not okay. My mom's helping her with her old age stuff. Respectful of the road, so we don't hurt ourselves. But this is the stuff that gets yeah that gets you going, guys. It's coming down. It is coming down. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Yeah, the snow tires make a huge difference, man. 
difference. Yeah, man. It's I a mean, huge difference. My Subaru does its job, but nothing like this. Yeah, this car is this this Subaru is a beast. But also, I I practice on conditions like this as much as I can. I'm constantly out there. Oh yeah. I yeah, go to yeah. the empty parking lots, lose control intentionally to regain it, and like you really do get a feel for it. You yeah. really do. It's like second nature for me now. So guys, we are entering Big Bear City now, and we're gonna be heading all the way up to Highway 38, you guys. Yeah, the roads are pretty rough right now. Even, even for me, they're a little sketchy, you guys. But yeah, if you guys like what I'm doing, hit like and subscribe, please help us out. I would appreciate it. Let's get these videos viewed all over the place share with people the Southern California snowstorm, the blizzard. I'm I'm in a bet when we get back to that side of town because we are taking him back all the way to uh, Lakeview because he's staying right on the lake at a hotel. Uh, it's going to be a lot heavier than it is now. A lot heavier. It's exciting. It really is. Never a blizzard morning, never. Wow. Yeah, I was I was shocked. But the cool thing is, is that a week ago I, I was telling them I'm confident that we'll get a blizzard warning for this storm, not having any idea that we've never had one before. So that made me feel good. Yeah. Because when I saw it, I was like, of course, you know, of course, you know. <laughs> but uh, but then when they said this is the first time it's ever happened up here, yeah, that shocked me. I mean, we've had heavy snow up here so much, but yeah. a blizzard warning, like, oh, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. So one of these streets up here is called Greenway, guys, and we got to slow down to turn right on Greenway. Okay, I made, made the wrong turn, guys. I was starting to turn there. We want to turn down Greenway. Actually, we'll go down to Paradise, guys. That'll be easier for us to avoid Big Bear Boulevard. And then coming back, we'll take the whole whole boulevard back so you guys can see what it's like. But we're, we're getting closer to Baldwin and that part of town that doesn't usually get as much snow. But they're supposed to get hammered today as well. They are supposed to get hammered as well. Are you comfortable with me driving, Bob? Absolutely. Okay, good. Then when we get to the house, I'll open your door for you and help you out, okay? Can I record all the way to your house? Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. All right, guys, this is paradise. This is the last turn we can make which separates the North Shore from the South Shore before we get to Baldwin Lake. So here we go. Paradise Way. Another crappy day in paradise. <laughs> These people are in the lane, of course, putting on their tire chains. Guys, don't do not do that. Only reason is, is I'm not trying to be a pain in the butt, but if someone behind you is having a hard time slowing down, they're going to run into the back of your car and possibly hurt you. So try to find an area where you can pull over and uh, do that just to be extra safe. We don't want anything to happen to you guys. I want to turn this uh, line up. That's terrible. <laughs> All right, so we're starting to get blowing snow over here. Yeah, this is this is pretty awesome, you guys. So as I said, th this road there's Paradise and Greenway Division and Stanfield Cutoff, which separate or which just merge you from North Shore to South Shore. Other than that, you can't get all the way across without um, going from street to street. These are the only main routes from north to south shore. And then hang 
on a second. My wife is texting me. Hang on a sec, guys. All right, guys, we made a left turn onto Big Bear Boulevard. And it's not so bad over here yet, but they're gonna get theirs over here. They are gonna get theirs over here. drive we did today over here maple was was closed it's not closed anymore they're letting cars up and down but we are actually going to be uh, going around to highway 38 not like being on maple after dark yes Definitely not, especially when the temperatures are super low and uh, these these conditions. That's a, yeah. a that's an absolute nightmare there. Yep. Hang tight, guys. Okay, I am on Highway 38, you guys. I thought I hit the record button, but it, I didn't. We just turned on to Highway 38, so it's no big deal. We didn't miss much. But Highway 38 is in pretty bad shape right now. This is one of the the three major routes in and out of town. If you take this, if you go straight continuously, this will uh, drop you off in Mentone and Redlands area, Yukaipa. Yukaipa got a lot of snow. That was awesome. Awesome to see that. Awesome to see Yukaipa get snow. Look at all, look at this fresh blanket of snow, guys. Look at how beautiful that is. Just a fresh old blanket of snow. So we actually dropped Bob off. He said he needed 10 minutes, so I came back out here. And we're gonna head back to go grab him. I just didn't wanna sit there and not record for you guys. I love you guys, man. I wanna give you guys the best footage we can possibly do. see everyone's driving really really conservatively because it is very dangerous we don't want anything to happen to anybody up here that's the worst thing is when you're on vacation and then something tragic happens like a bad accident we don't want that we want you guys to come up here and have fun have good memories not horrible memories since my camera is getting really hot I'm gonna stick it out our window for a moment we haven't hit yet on this uh, journey through this storm through the past few days so this is gonna be awesome too deep in Irwin but I just wanted you guys to see a little bit of Irwin Lake area this is the last major neighborhood before you, you 
leave town. There is one more called Lake Williams, but <clears throat> this is the last major big neighborhood. So we're gonna go up to this street called Willow and then make a left and, 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 and come back down one of the streets. And then magically Bob will be reappearing in the video with my magic editing, which is just hitting stop and start. <laughs> So this is Irwin, you guys. This is Irwin. Beautiful views. I think one of the best time lapses ever made in this town was from here, before I moved in here during the 2010 storm. All right, so this is Willow. This is about halfway, or about a third of the way to the end. And as I said, when we get back to the Big Bear Lakeside, the snow is gonna be awesome, I bet. It's gonna be awesome. This, this part of town doesn't see as much snow as uh you know what let's go down this street hang on it doesn't see as much snow as the, the big bear lake side of town but they got hit pretty good here this is freaking beautiful this is freaking beautiful oh i love it i absolutely love it So this is this neighborhood. I like it a lot. If you guys want to be away from the hustle and bustle of the tourism stuff, this is a good part of town to to stay at. Let's see that. Wow, it's a deep spot right there. All right, guys, we just turned right onto Highway 38. Once again, for some reason, my phone, when you hit the record button, it's turning off right away. Such a bummer. We just lost about 10 or 15 minutes worth of video because I thought I was recording. It showed recording. But anyway, we are on our way back to Big Bear Lake. He got his insulin. He is good to go. And the snow is definitely picking up over here. I'm excited to see what it looks like on our side of town, guys, the snowy part of town. I think what we're gonna do is, because there's so much traffic here, we're gonna take the back roads once we get um, over to Big Bear Boulevard, take the, take the back roads over. And yeah, guys, super, super cool. We got to go do, do this drive before the major, major snowfall. But as I said, when we get back to that side of town, it's probably gonna be extremely lovely. I'm definitely excited to see what it looks like over there. And then when we get to your, your your hotel, Bob, I'll help you take all that stuff out, okay? Well, I appreciate everything yeah. you're doing, man. No, bro. No worries. No worries. When you said... It's a bitch getting old. <laughs> you're not old, Bob. <laughs> you're not old. So yeah, you guys, we're gonna have to be in traffic for a little bit, but then we're gonna be driving through all the neighborhoods to get back to Division Road and then the back way into, uh, well, yeah, I guess in, into Moon Ridge and then take Moon Ridge over to, uh, right about there, we could probably shut off the video though because I don't, I don't wanna take the same route in the same video. I think that would be kind of annoying for you guys, but I just want you guys to see how much things will pick up in just a short period of time here. And once again, when you guys usually come into town on Highway 38, this is the traffic you're, you're going to hit, and it's going to be nasty. This is nothing, right, Bob? This is nothing yet. Nothing. Like, they, like, like, right? We are super, super, super lucky. Look at this guy, man. I love this guy. I love this guy right here. I love that guy right there. I try making a right back there onto 38 sometimes, and it takes 10 minutes for the traffic to clear. Yeah, yep, <laughs> yep. 
people come flying through here also. But as I said, I'm gonna show you guys the shortcut, okay? This is, obviously guys, please, um, a lot of the, the, uh, locals get upset at me for showing you guys the shortcuts. And it's it frustrates me because without you guys, none of us live here. I know you guys aren't gonna be speeding through these neighborhoods, so I'm not worried about it. You guys are very respectful people, and I'm gonna show you guys your shortcuts so you don't have to waste as much time on the road up here. So once again, we're on Highway 38, a major uh, route that takes you from you know off the mountain to the top of the mountain. And now we're coming up to Big Bear Boulevard where we're gonna turn left, where all these other cars are. And then once we get to a street called Paradise, we're gonna turn left on Paradise and drive through those neighborhoods. These roads are in horrible shape right now. All right, so we're coming up once again to Maple. It's a way up to get to Sugarloaf. And uh, Maple, once again, you guys, is one of the most treacherous roads in this whole valley when we have ice and snow. It's very, very dangerous. The way you want to get up to Sugarloaf is turn around right here, go back to Highway 38, and then about a half a mile up, you'll hit Baldwin Lane. That's your best bet. It's still a little bit steep, but nothing like that road right there. You can't see it. You can't see it now but yeah and i'm gonna put the phone out the window for a minute because it's getting hot again And as I said, guys, that's going to be our way to take uh, the back roads back to where we need to go. Usually there aren't that many cars on there ever. Um, there are a couple parts of it that are a little bit scary, but not, not too bad. traffic you guys will get to see some of the neighborhoods in Big Bear City it'll be awesome Paradise Way you guys see that we're gonna turn left up here I'm telling you guys this is a time saver because usually the traffic's even worse than it is right now. It's just, it's so slow and so backed up. So once we get through these cars here, we, we will be good. In other circumstances, I would have gone right there, but we got to look out for everybody today. Safety is the priority, especially with precious cargo in the car named Bob. So this guy coming up, just, to, just turned on his left turn signal, and here we go. All right. So you want to take Paradise all the way. It starts to curve around up here to the right. And this is called Aeroplane. So Paradise to Aeroplane. And take Aeroplane through the neighborhood, and I'll tell you what your next step is. Just take this all the way until you get to uh, Milk or uh, 
it's like sawmill i believe or mill creek i always forget what it's called sawmill and then when you turn left on sawmill then you just stay straight on that until it dead ends into um division road sawmill turns into sugarloaf boulevard when you turn left and just keep on going straight If you dare, as Bob says, yeah. <laughs> so we are in the Big Bear City neighborhoods, guys. Wow, people must be having so much fun. I'm so happy for these people up here. All you guys that get to actually come up here and enjoy this, I'm really happy for you guys. This is Rose Hill. And the next street is Sawmill. So we're going to hang a left on Sawmill from Aeroplane. And then you don't have to worry about any other directions because you will dead end into Division Road and then turn left. And then we'll get into Moon Ridge from from there and it, it'll take you to avoid a whole bunch of traffic and get you where you need to go to anywhere you need to go in Big Bear Lake or Moon Ridge as you guys can see we haven't really passed any any cars driving nothing this is the one part of this road that gives me a little trepidation when we turn right here because you go over a hill that you can't see can't see over it and cars come flying up the other side Look at this that could be a sledding area, but I think it's no trespassing. If you, if you don't see no trespassing signs, guys, go have fun. This is what I'm talking about. You can't see over this hill. Looks like I'm flying, guys, but we're going 16, 15, 16 miles an hour, going up the hill right now. It feels like we're going a lot faster. It really does. A lot of you say, oh my gosh, you gotta slow down. I promise you guys, I'm not gonna put people's lives in, in jeopardy. Thank you, sir, I think. I like it when it's snowy, all the trash cans are off the road. <laughs> I know, right? And we're coming up to my wife's old house, you guys. Right here on the corner of Sugarloaf and Blue Water. It's this house right here on the corner that I'm, I'm pointing at. That is where I used to spend a lot of time. Looks so beautiful with all this snow right there. That brown house on the corner. It's a cute house. We miss it actually. It's a lot bigger than my house and it's not that big. <laughs> fresh blankets of snow you guys it's so pretty
right, guys. So if it's not snowing a lot harder when we get to uh, Moon Ridge Road and Big Bear Boulevard, then I'm probably not gonna upload this because it's not gonna be anything different than the last video. I just, you know what? Yeah, I will because we went to a part of town that we haven't been to yet. As I said, I wish we could have spent more time in there, but I have to get these videos uploaded and respond to all the comments. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Okay, we've hit the end of Sugarloaf Boulevard. Now we're at Division Road. We're gonna hang a left. Nothing that way, nothing this way. Here we go. You got everything you need, right? Yeah, and I'm, I'm good until uh, I get myself a help. Okay. Yeah, no problem, dude. No problem, brother. guys we're we're kind of in the fox farm area now for a short period of time we're gonna hang a left here at uh, fox farm road and the further we go left on fox farm road it turns into McAllister so the, oh wait no sorry this is a little tiny strip okay division to sugar pine left on sugar pine and then literally your immediate right onto McAllister And then we'll be up here to Fox Farm Road. You if you get up, uh, when we get to the stop sign, it dead ends. When you go right, you're on Fox Farm Road. When you go left, it is McAllister. The way I remember this street is from Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. <laughs> See the snow is is definitely gaining in uh, in the amount the further we go this direction. We're entering snowier parts of town. And this guy's going right on Fox Farm. We're going left, which is turns into McAllister about a block up here on the left. So technically, this is Fox Farm. But once we like pass this school bus sign, I think these next streets are McAllister. This is this is McAllister now. I'm pretty sure, yeah, McAllister. Some of the most beautiful moments in that place, and the one right next to it, the twins. I love it. I love it. I love it. came down here earlier and we had to make a u-turn because some cars were stuck in the middle of the road and um, there was an accident at the bottom as well but you got to be super careful on this road because it's very dangerous very steep Take this to Elm Street, folks. Elm Street. Every every city has an Elm Street. I learned that from Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> I'm a child, I know. Coming up 
route to Elm. This truck won't always be parked here, but you want to turn left on Elm right here. And then you will be at the very first roundabout of our new wonderful roundabouts, guys. Here's Moon Ridge Road. Oh yeah. It's so pretty, you guys. Let's make like Tom and Cruz. Here we go. So once we get up to Big Bear Boulevard, this video is going to be over, but I want to thank you guys for cruising with us from uh, one to go to the one side of town that we have not been yet been to on any of these videos during this storm. We haven't been to Irwin yet. So that was really, really cool that we got to do that. I'm glad we had a few extra minutes because Bob had to do a few things at his house. So it allowed us to go drive a little bit, a little bit more. I love the way these roads look with all the snow and ice. It's, it's so pretty. All right, guys. Well, say bye, Bob. Bye, Bob. <laughs> guys, thank you again for everything. Thank you for enjoying what I like to do for you guys. I have a lot of fun doing it. Um, I like having the opportunity to, to save lives, impact people's lives. I know this is a great way to do it. Um, I try to give you the best advice I can so you guys don't ever hurt yourselves. I love you guys to death. If you, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Share this video. Um, I would cherish that. Thank you very much, guys. Have a beautiful rest of your blizzard coming up soon.